Hi, I'm Patty. And I'm Oliver. And this is Cooking Counts, a mathy cooking show for the entire family, grown ups and little ones. Today, we're making burrito bowls, a delicious meal full of flavorful spices. First, let's make space on our counter. I am going to tell you the ingredients and you're gonna tell me whether we need to chop them or not. The ingredients that need to be chopped, we're gonna move them to our left. And the ingredients that don't need chopping, we're gonna move them to the right. Got it? So let's start with the beans. Chopping or no chopping? No chopping. The rice. Chopping or no chopping? No chopping. Cilantro, chopping or no chopping? In the middle. Because we may chop it. We'll chop some and then chop, some won't be chopped. The onion. Chopping. Okay, move you that to go, your You right. want to go like ching, ching. And the shredded cheese. Chopping or no chopping? Because people already chopped it, kind of. They already shredded it's it. It's shredded, right? They went like cheese. Okay. <laughs> no chopping. And last but not least, the avocado. Chopping. There you go. Okay, so next we're going to start by chopping the onions. Let's make room for that here. I am going to chop this onion in slices. Ooh. And those slices, I will then cut those in half. And this is where you're going to help me. And I'm going to hand you this kid-friendly chopper. And you're going to cut these slices into either squares or rectangles. We want to chop about two tablespoons of onion. And this is to season and warm up our beans, to give them the beautiful flavor that onion gives our beans. And now that we have our onions chopped, we are ready to warm up our beans. Here we have a pan and we're going to turn on the stove. And reminder, when you have an open flame, please be safe when you have your little ones with you. I'm going to just bring this down to medium heat and add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And Oliver, can you hand over those chopped onions? Pour them into the pan. There we go. Do you hear that? Yeah, I hear sizzling. You go like That is a sound of um, the greatest is the sound of the fire wanting to eat the onions. So we're going to cook these onions. And Oliver, what do you notice here? What's happening to the onions? They're starting to become see-through. They're changing color. And also, the smell is different, right? This uh, smell and sound reminds me so much of my childhood. So it's incredible that I have the opportunity now to do this with my kid. Now that we have this, I'm gonna get the beans. We're gonna pour the beans into the pan. I'm gonna bring down the heat. And Oliver, you wanna help me here? Mix all the ingredients together? Yes, I do. And always, if your little one is doing this at home, make sure you are there to supervise and make sure that everything's safe. Okay, do a little bit. Mix to the side, right, left. Yes, great, fantastic. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think we should add next? Like salts and spices. That's right. Can you hand over the salt and the pepper? How many shakes do you want on this recipe here? Two. I think I'd want to go. Two shakes of pepper? Okay, great. Now, you want to do the salt? Okay. One shake? Two shakes. And what about the garlic powder? Let's add a little bit of garlic powder. Let's open it there. Oh, this is smelling so good. Okay, how many shakes? One. Oh, that's a bit. So one and a half shakes. And now Chef Oliver is going to demonstrate his world-renowned mashing skills. Dun. 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 <laughs> there you go. Three. Wait, are you noticing something? What shape were the beans? They were oval, now they're flat. That's right. They're turning. Yeah, they're very flat. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna get over here. We're gonna prepare our bowls. So here we're gonna get our measuring cups, our half cup measuring cup, and we're going to 
fill up our half cup with rice. And then half a cup of these delicious beans with onions. Do this again for your bowl, this sequence. We're gonna do the sequence again. And by rice. doing that, the rice, half a cup of Bean. rice. Half a cup of beans. Whoop. What are we creating when we do the sequence twice? We're making a pattern. Of rice, rice bean. Rice bean. That's rice right. Bean. Do you want to do the honors of pitting the avocado? Yeah, we're going to cut the outside of it, so then you're going to scoop it out in one big spoon. That is a beautiful avocado. And then you get under it, that, and boom. Top your bowl. We're going to add in a bit of my avocado. There you go. Get in there with your finger. Mm, oh. Nice. And then we're going to do it again. You don't want to cut that piece off. Oh, oh, okay, we're sharing a slice. We still have more ingredients. <laughs> no, How much no. shredded cheese do you want to add to your bowl? Half of a handful. Great. Like this much. Okay, go ahead. And I would like the same too, Chef. Can you add to my bowl? Yes. I would say a quarter of a handful. Okay, you mean like less than this? Less than a quarter. Then I'll add in a bit of what's in my hand. You mean this much? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, Chef. Question for you, chef. Salsa for you? No, I'm not really a spicy guy. Okay, I like some salsa. I'm gonna top mine with salsa. Then the greatest herb on earth. Cilantro. Cilantro. Oh. It's green, it's it healthy. It just brings everything it's, together. It's yummy looking. Yeah, it's perfect. Bon appetit. Today we're making yummy quesadillas with melty cheese. A great way to create a healthy meal and put food on the table. Oliver, are you ready? Yes, I Let's am. Let's do this. Let's start with our ingredients. We need tortillas. How many tortillas are we doing here? About two of each. So two flour tortillas and two corn tortillas for this recipe. Fantastic. Let me get those two flour tortillas, two corn tortillas, and Oliver, you're going to be responsible for the avocado today. I'm going to hand you one avocado. You're going to cut it in half and scoop out the yummy goodness into this bowl and mash it up for me. He is using a kid-friendly knife. This makes it easy for our little ones to be involved in the kitchen and helping us. What shape are the cheese? Some of them are long, some of them are short. And what do they look like? Some look yellow. So some are yellow. Some are white. Okay, how are we doing with that avocado? Fantastic. Here you go, a spoon to scoop out the avocado into the bowl. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna get go around here and start preheating the tortillas. Oliver, which tortilla do you prefer for your quesadilla? Small tortilla or big tortilla? Small one. The small tortilla is the corn tortilla. And we're just going to do a quick preheat because this helps the tortilla from breaking when you're folding the tortilla for your quesadillas. Oliver, what shape is the tortilla? A circle. And how do you know? Because it has no edges. Okay. These tortillas are ready. Let me turn off the heat. And wait for them to cool down. Okay. Now I'm bringing them back here. These are a little hot. So now we are getting ready to add our filling. We have chicken. We have our avocado ready. Not ready yet. It's not quite ready? Yeah, but it's getting close to. So let me ask you, how many handfuls of chicken do you want to add to your quesadilla? One handful. Go ahead and grab one handful. How many handfuls of cheese? Like. A little finger bits, no, two finger bits. So the cheese is going to act as the glue for all the ingredients inside your quesadilla. And now we're going to add some veggies. I'm thinking four spinach leaves. Can you count with me? One, two, three, and four. four. And we'll do the same for mine. One, two, and three, and four. So we added the spinach leaves and this is to make you stronger, Oliver. Let's go ahead and fold the tortilla to make way for our quesadilla. Here we go. We're gonna put it back 
to warm up. Oh, you hear that? That's the sound of magic happening. Oliver, can you pass me your spatula? Here's a little trick. Palapa. When making quesadillas, use the spatula. The squish it. To flatten. Yes, so you're squishing it. Basically. And bring all the ingredients together and get that cheese melting and act like a glue. And Oliver, this is almost ready. Go ahead and cut the quesadilla in half. Right here. Right in half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then cut it on this side directly like this. Right there again. And what shape are we forming there? Triangle. Triangles. And how do you know this is a triangle, Oliver? Because it has three corners. And we are now ready to add our toppings. We're gonna do one spoonful of sour cream or Mexican cream, one spoonful of salsa. Ooh. There we go. And Oliver, do you want to do the honors? Cover it all go. And there's our quesadillas. And then why don't we top it with a little bit of cheese? Extra cheese, you mean? Extra cheese. <laughs> There we go. It doesn't even look like a quesadilla it. anymore. It looks like it looks like the flavor tornado. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a bite? Yeah, do. Here you go. One for you. Okay. Mm. Good. Mm. Today we're making strawberry smoothie bowls. A delicious way to incorporate fruits into your everyday. Are you ready, Oliver? Yes, I am. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna need. One and a half cups of low-fat Greek yogurt. So let's get our measuring cups. Here's one cup. So we're gonna get one big scoop. So we're gonna go. That's right. And then when you get that scoop, you can just throw it into the mixing bowl here. Dump that. And then get the half cup measuring cup. There we go, it's there for you. And get a big scoop. Ooh, it's all wet. <laughs> okay, scoop it in and dump it into the mixing bowl. You're now going to help me and cut three cups of strawberries. So three cups of strawberries and about three strawberries make one cup, meaning we need? Nine strawberries. Nine strawberries, can you help me count? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ready to cut? Yes, I am. And Oliver is going to be using a kid-friendly knife, which you can find um, at your local store. Awesome, thank you. Let's cut those in half. And two. Let me help you to dump these strawberries into the blender. How many slices is that? Two. Two slices, great. And this, Snack is perfect for as an after school snack. It's a perfect midday snack, especially on the weekends. And it's so quick to do and your little ones can help you at home. We're going to puree the strawberries and we're going to add a little bit of water to the blender just to get the strawberries going. Oliver, do you want to turn the blender on? Yes, I do. Go ahead and press this button here. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to pour the strawberry puree into the yogurt. And while you're mixing, I am going to add one teaspoon of agave. I use my measuring spoons here. One teaspoon. Mix, mix, mix. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you want it super sweet, you add lots of it. If you want a little bit sweet, you, you add you. a little bit of it. If you just don't want sweetness, just don't have it in. <laughs> <laughs> and then stir with me. What color did this turn into? Pink. That's right. Like white mixed with red equals pink. Okay, so now we're gonna get ready 
to prepare our toppings. And you need one banana. And Oliver, do you wanna go ahead and cut this banana for me? Let me just unwrap it. Here you go. And while you're cutting, I'm gonna continue mixing to make sure that the agave and the vanilla extract and the puree are nicely mixed together. And what shape are these banana slices? Short cylinders. Short cylinders. Now we're gonna prepare these delicious Yummy. smoothie bowls. Let me go ahead. Mm. Now we're going to add our delicious toppings. I'm going to add banana, coconut, banana, and then what do you think I'm gonna add again? Coconut. That's right, coconut. I'm creating a topping pattern. Oliver, what are your toppings? Banana, banana, coconut, banana, banana, and coconut. And then a bunch of coconut. A bunch of coconut. We're gonna add a drizzle of honey. Do you want honey on yours? Yes, I do. A drizzle of honey. It's all golden. And this is going to bring all the flavors together. There we go. Are you ready, chef? Yes. Bon appetit. Today we're making apple snails. This quick recipe is loaded with healthy ingredients and packed with scrumptious energy bites. And we're gonna start, Oliver, by counting the ingredients. You wanna count with me? Yes. One red apple. apple. One <laughs> celery stick. Four pretzel sticks and eight chocolate chips or raisins. What are we using today, Oliver? How about both? One, two, two three, three, four. Four. Now the raisins. One, two, three, four. So we now have four chocolate chips and four raisins, making a total of what? Eight. In total. Eight delicious chocolate chips and raisins total. And then we need a half cup of nut butter. I want you can help me with that, Oliver. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Let's fill up the half cup with a spoon. Doo -doo -doo. I get the spoon and you get clump and then you go. You fill up your half cup of peanut butter and you can use any butter at home. It could be your favorite butter, almond butter, sunflower butter. We love peanut butter here at home. So now this part is for the adults. We're going to do the cutting. We're gonna cut the celery sticks. We're gonna cut it in how many pieces? Two. So we're gonna cut it in half to get two pieces. Second is in four. So that means we have to cut each piece in and half once. again. Again. Let's count that. One, two, three, Four. And then we're going to cut the apple into slices. What shape is this apple slice, Oliver? An oval. An oval. There we go. A few slices. Mm -hmm. And to form the snail that we're creating, we're going to cut these slices in half. Again. To create what? A semicircle. That's right. And then we're ready to start building our snail. So what do we start with, Oliver? Our celery. Our celery piece. Let's do Get that. That. And let me help you by getting a generous spoonful of peanut butter, which is going to act as the glue here for our celery stick and apple slices. Boo. You know? Just yep. We're going to get an apple slice. And how are we going to set up the apple slice? So the flat part is going to go on the bottom and the round part of the apple is going to be sticking up. There we go. What do we do next? We're gonna move the this The eyes. Here. Yes, let's grab the eyes. You get two. Two chocolate chips. Where are you gonna glue those? You're gonna glue those in the front where most animals put their eyes on. <gasps> it's starting to look like a snail, just like the ones we have in the garden. And the last step. The antenna. How many antennas do we need? Two. Okay, can you grab that? Or we can break one in half. That creates two pieces. For the antennas. Now you stick those on. There we go. Or How about we give them a name? I'm gonna eat you, snail. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to take a bite? It's gooey. 
It is gooey and delicious. Tasty. Tasty. Oliver, you did such a fantastic job. You're such a great chef. <laughs> oh, that crunch. <laughs> like and subscribe to get more ideas on quick meals full of math moments. And get more easy recipes that kids can make at home, just like I did. Let us know how it goes. We want to see. Send us your photos and recipes at FamilyMath at pbssocal.org.